Hi everybody, this is Cindy with Little Piece of Happiness. In this video, we're gonna talk about the tips because I wanna see that writing experience and how it works. Yeah. Right now, this is the S Pen that comes with the Samsung S7 tablet. This is the original pen, it's nothing fancy. It's not like the S Pen Pro. So this is the original one. I recently picked up some plastic nibs and also aluminum alloy nibs because I wanted to compare the writing experience and the drawing experience because I use my tablet for my digital planner and I also use it to draw graphics. Now, with that being said, I don't know which one's going to work better. Then in my previous video, I went ahead and showed you guys how I ended up putting this screen protector. It's a paper-like screen protector on the tablet. So I put a paper-like screen protector on there. You're gonna see my face for the camera, sorry. But um, it was like a funny way I had to put it on because my case has an actual cover on the screen itself. And because it has a cover on the screen, if I were to put that paper protector or the screen protector directly on the tablet and then I cover it I, I basically lose all functionality of the paper-like screen protector, so I had to put the paper-like screen protector on top of the case, like on the case cover. So I had to cut it out and stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing that video, I'll go ahead and link it at the end of this one or maybe in the card on the top. Um, but in this video, we're gonna talk about the tips because I wanna see that writing experience and how it works. So let's show you guys the two tips that we're working with. So these are the aluminum tips. Um, they are metal tips, and then they came with this little um, tool to take it out with, take out the original nibs, and it came in this case right here. And these are the plastic tips. They didn't come with a case or anything. They, I'm just putting it in there because I don't want to lose it. But these are the plastic tips. They have like a pointy... I don't know if you guys can see that, but they have like a pointy tip to it. Um, I heard these work really well for drawing and I heard they work really well on the paper-like screen protector. The only thing is because they are plastic, they will wear down over time. So it's either going to be wear down the tips or you're going to wear down the screen protector using the aluminum tips. Both of them came with their own set of um, stylus nib pluckers, I don't know what these are, <laughs> tweezers, I guess. I think I wanna go ahead and try the aluminum tips because I heard a lot of good things about them and I've only ever seen it available for the S Pen Pro. I don't have an S Pen Pro and I felt like I was missing out with the aluminum tips because everyone was talking about the writing experience but someone shared with me that they found these tips so I'm really excited to try them. I've never replaced tips before. So let's see. Hopefully this is user friendly. So yeah, I was able to clip it in there and then eventually by just a lot of pulling, I was able to get a hold of it. And there it is, it came out, yay. So this is the original tip. Um, you can feel it does feel rubbery. This is the original one. So yeah, definitely feels rubbery. I don't want to lose that, so I'm just gonna put that back in the box. And then we're gonna put in these metal tips. So exciting. Okay, and then I'm gonna just put that in there. I don't know if I have to push it in far enough, or I just don't want it to come out. Hopefully this is in focus for you guys because I keep trying to get it in focus. I'm working on my Nikon camera, which is a DSLR, and I heard that they are great for photography, not great for focusing video. So I'm just manually, okay, let's see, I'm gonna pull this because I don't want it to come out easily. Okay, that did not come out easily. I was able to put it in there like pretty firm I don't, I don't want to lose that tip. I have a, 
a 14 month old baby and I don't, this would be like a choking hazard, right? So that's all I'm thinking about are choking hazards. Okay, so that's on there. Let me show you a close up of the tip. So there's the tip there. It's on there. This is the titanium aluminum alloy ball, ball tip. And they say it's for the Wacom. Um, and it's also compatible, I think, with this S Pen. So we're gonna see. It is in there. It doesn't feel like it's coming out. Yeah, it feels like it's in there. So I'm gonna see how it writes. I don't have it with the pen cover yet, and I might have to put that on just because I I have a hard time writing with this stylus because it's so skinny. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just um, put a stylus cover on. So I'm just to get those arrows to line up, so I need to do that. in my digital planner. I am using my Life Compass digital planner. This is the landscape, the full landscape view um, with the spirals on the very far left and it's in the pastel color. If you guys are interested in my digital planner, I'll go ahead and drop it in the description below. For the month of March, we are doing 50% off of all of our January start digital planners. So if you're watching this and it's still March 2023, you can go ahead and head over to the shop and you can get 50% off of the planners. You will need a coupon code and it's going to be March 50, March 50. So let's go ahead and try this pen. So I feel like it's, I mean, hello. It doesn't slip as easily, which is nice. You do hear like the scratchiness of the paper because of the paper-like feel. So that part, I think, I think I do like that part. I do like the the sound of it. Um, yeah, they don't really have many, they do have other pen styles. Let's see, let's try the calligraphy pen. Let's do that in a different color. See, I'm gonna have to edit a lot of these videos that I'm putting out lately. Let's go ahead and try another app. Um, let's do, hmm, I'm gonna do Note Shelf. I know I don't use Note Shelf anymore, but this was one of my very first digital planning apps when I was um, playing with digital planning in the beginning. So let me see, I think I have a demo that I can use, yeah. So this is my freebie digital planner. And I am currently in the reading mode, I think. My pen is off. The reason why I love Note, Note Shelf is because their pen, like the way that it writes, just, I just love it so much. Let's see how this writes. See, like, doesn't this pen just look so nice? How it just looks like a real pen right there. So that's how that writes. It feels, I mean, it, it feels good. Um, I don't have any drag resistance. It's not as slippery. I'm not sure if it's my, my like pen type. You know, I don't know. There's like all these different pens with different tips and I just don't know if this is my pen type. But um, let's go ahead and pull open sketchbook because I want to see how it performs when it comes to a uh, Oh gosh, when it comes to drawing. Alrighty, let's just do black so that, oh. And we're just gonna do a symmetry tool. Trying to figure this out if I like the feel of this or not. Same thing, I'm just going to go ahead and take this out. So 
are very, very small. I think I got this pack for like five bucks or something. I can't remember. It was on Amazon though. Again, I'm gonna link everything in the description below. And um, it could be an affiliate link depending on when I post this. So that just means that uh, when you click it, it's no charge to you, but I may get a commission or a kickback from it. So I would greatly appreciate if you do, because then you can support the channel. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back, or not this one back, but this is the, the plastic nib. I wanna see how it feels compared to like the original rubber nib. You feel a difference? Yeah. So the rubber nib, definitely there's like a drag. There's like a drag to it when I um, put it against the paper like versus the plastic tip, there's no drag. And it is very, very pointy. So I wanna make sure that that's in there. I think it is, it is very sharp and pointy. I'll show you guys what this one looks like. So this is the plastic nib. You can see it's very, has this very pointy tip. It's very sharp. Um, it is firm and hard. It's not rubbery like the original tip that comes with the Samsung. It is very sharp though. So you definitely don't want to just do this straight up on your screen because I think you can ruin it. And because I have the paper like screen protector, hopefully it'll protect it that way. Uh, I guess we'll just do a new image. Let's do the mandalas again because I do like drawing the mandalas. Ooh, let's see if it's even detecting this, because for some reason it's drawing without me even touching it. I don't know if that's going to be an issue, guys. Let's try this. Okay, I think earlier, ooh, see, it's drawing without me even putting it down. Ooh, that's not gonna be good. I don't know, maybe um, have it in too far. I don't know if it's a sensitivity thing. So I'm not touching the screen. Okay, so that seems to be okay. Now let's try it again. I'm just drawing doodles right now. This is not anything that I'm working on per se. But I just wanted to see how it feels. I think it feels pretty good. I guess this is more of my handwriting. Um, you do feel some of the resistance because it's a sharper tip. I'm not sure, but I feel like this tip could get worn a little bit faster. I definitely can see the benefit of the ball tip because it's not going to get worn as quickly. But with the pointy tip and it being plastic, it like, it's not as, it doesn't glide. If that, if that makes any sense, it doesn't glide like the aluminum tip. So if you like a pen that kind of like glides, um, then you might like the aluminum better. In comparison to like the rubber tip that came with the Samsung, that, that one also glides, but that one's like super slippery. Versus the ball tip, the aluminum one is not like slippery like that. It's just very smooth. Um, versus this one feels more like, I would say a pencil, I guess, if you want a more like a pencil experience. So pencil, I don't know. Okay, and then let's go ahead and open up uh, Note Shelf again. Both of them have really good responses. I don't see any lag with either of the two pen tips. Um, I do feel like I write nicer 
with this plastic tip. And I think it's just because it's a pointier, it's like a pointier tip versus the other one is like round. Um, not only that, but I don't know. I, I need a little bit of resistance, like a pencil versus when it, it's too glidey. It's not as good for me personally. Um, but I still need to play around with both just to see which one I like better. And I, I would feel like it gives um, pencil feel. I definitely feel like this, for me, feels more natural and realistic in terms of a writing experience for a pencil feel. Definitely, for me, the plastic tips over the um, aluminum tips, which is going to be surprising, for, I think, for a lot of you because I was really excited to get the aluminum tips, especially since someone found um, a set that would fit inside of the regular S Pen, but I don't know. I think, here, let me switch it out again to see, just because I I was really excited about it, and now I'm like, oh, I think I might like the, the plastic better, but let's go ahead and put the, let's put the other ones back in. There's like a resistance there, but and this is the aluminum. Yeah, I mean they're both they're both good. Um, but I think for me it's just maybe not as glidey as I would like. It just doesn't give me my personal natural handwriting. Definitely though, both tips are way better than using the um, the rubber tip that comes with the regular S Pen if you are wanting a paper-like experience to go with the paper-like screen protector. If you um, don't care to use this paper-like screen protector, then stick with that glass screen protector um, and stick with the original tip that comes with the stylus because that stylus is made for that glass. And I would say again, writing with the glass does really, really well. It's very smooth, but I would not use the steel tip or the plastic tip on a glass screen protector. Um, you definitely wanna probably use a paper, a paper-like screen protector. So hopefully this video was helpful. I usually don't do videos like this, but I think I wanted to share this experience because I think we're wanting more things for Android and tablet, Samsung tablets and stuff, and I've always been an Android user. I've never been an Apple user at all, and there needs to be your, more of us on YouTube. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys.